Welcome back. Well, even though it has been really nice this weekend, we know that snow could definitely be on the way this winter season. So we've got your back this morning with things you need to do to your car before that stuff starts hitting the roads. So we sent Sam Cantrell out to the parking lot of the News 8 studio with an expert on what to do to your car to get it winter ready. Hi, Sam. Good morning, Stefan. I'll tell you, it feels like winter temperature wise, but it doesn't feel like winter because we haven't really gotten any snow, but it will start to change really soon. Lou Joseph is the general sales manager at uh, New Country Mini and BMW, yeah. and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, getting your car ready for winter, even though it doesn't really feel like winter, aside from the fact that it's kind of cold outside. So. Let's talk tires okay. because I think now we're really getting to the time of the year where people start to change over their tires from the regular ones to the snow, to the snow tires. Do you think that snow tires, would you say, are, are, are a good investment for a person to have? Oh, I would definitely think that they're um, a great investment to have, especially with the winters that we've been having lately. You know, uh, just because you have all season tires on the car, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're totally equipped for some very hazardous driving that New England presents. Um, you know, I would always suggest to go with more aggressive tread in the winter, um, especially if you're doing long commutes or whatever, it's gonna give you a lot more security. And don't always consider that, you know, your car is, you know, just because it's all wheel drive, that you're going to have, you know, uh, uh, just a complete ease of travel and bad weather, because it doesn't really help you unless you have good tires on the car. Yeah, that's and the most and thing. what is what is the real difference between a tire that's rated for snow and and just an all-season tire or a summer tire that a lot of cars, you know, I have to assume that a lot of cars like like a BMW or something that come out, they probably do have you know low-profile tires. They're typically mostly for summer. You know, what is the big difference between the two? Is it the, is it the tread pattern? Is it, it the type of rubber that's on the tires? It, well, it's both. Um, the the softer the tire is going to give you a shorter lifespan but it's going to be better on road conditions and the more aggressive tread with deeper tracks are going to remove a lot of the debris that goes inside the tire get rid of it and give you more gripping uh, traction on the road so let's talk a little bit about about tire tread itself now what is an indication that you kind of need to get yourself a new tire on cars because i think sometimes people kind of wait until it gets to the point where they pop and then that's when they replace them but that's not when you should be replacing them I'm no right. you should always gauge your tires especially at the beginning of the winter season um, and easy way to do it if you don't have a tire gauge is just use the head of a penny. And if you could see uh, Lincoln's, Lincoln's head, then the tires are good. Uh, if you can't see Lincoln's head, then the tires are good. But if you, if you uh, can't see it, then that means your tires need to be replaced. Gotcha. So. And, and I think it's uh, like 3.30 seconds or something like that. And, I, and I, I know that most shops will check to make sure whether you do need to get tires. Sure. Same thing goes when you get an oil change. Talk to me a bit about, about fluids. Should, uh, what should you be doing as you head towards winter now? That well, obviously, you want to make sure that your coolant is topped off. You know, you want to make sure that your windshield washer fluid is obviously topped off, especially when you're driving in hazardous conditions and visibility is limited. You want to make sure your windshield is you know as clear as possible mm -hmm. you want to make sure all your lights work in the vehicle um, you know stop by the dealership they'll do a you know perform a quick uh, safety inspection for winterization the coolant um, your heater thermostat to trigger you know the coolant going through the vehicle um, you know it's just a few you know definite um, topic points but it could you save you a lot of absolutely aggravation. It, aggravation it could also save your life too definitely all right let's uh let's talk uh about stuff a mini stuff because a mini. you guys have an event that's coming up you do it every six months because i know true. we've had some of your coworkers that have come out here to talk to us what is stuff a mini and what are you guys looking for uh, stuff a mini is just pretty much what it what it what it means is we have a mini we like to fill it up um two times a year okay um basically uh for this winter go around in december uh we use um gently used blankets and winter jackets um, and we distribute them at the Hartford Public School System and uh, that runs um, through the 21st at two locations at the BMW store okay. and uh, across the street at our mini store. I hate to put you on the spot can yeah. you tell me the address of both of those places and where they well what town is it in first of all? Oh it's in Hartford okay right, right right at the entrance of the Infinity Music Theater. And you guys are looking for you know any anything that's lightly or gently used? That New is. or gently used blankets or winter jackets you know boots um, anything that can be useful, you know, for all, all age ranges, you know, especially older children. They Fantastic. seem to have a real need for it. Okay, well, help them out as we head into this holiday season and help yourself out too by getting your car checked out. Check all those things that we have there. A uh, full list of this information. It was a lot of stuff. It's all on our website. That's WTNH.com.